you know, racing kind of slowed down through the early 80s and when it regained traction mid 80s. It came back uh, and the teams that were doing it then was riders that were serious and wanting to be able to drive hard, fast, for long distances. In 86, 87, uh, Jack Struthers from Carl Cycle Sales had picked up Fox Shock Aftermarket Company and introduced them. He basically brought them into the snowmobile scene. Probably was the first time we'd got to run a, a rough race and actually belt race the whole way. That's when my real efforts into building suspensions and tuning shocks took off because we had our stuff working so well out west and they come out and evaluated our stuff and gave me the project of helping them work with Fox to develop the first OEM Fox built snowmobile which was our 90 EXT special bracelet. So with the anticipation of having what I knew was good shocks for 90, um, I was very excited about the project and then to make it all sweet, of course, 90 was my first victory in the I-500. And we definitely had a superior shock over the competition. Uh, yeah, I do remember my first race. Uh, it was right at our own hometown, Driggs, and it was a kid's race. I don't think I won, won that one, but I did get a trophy and was, was hooked. Uh, my memories of my dad racing are similar to watching him working in the shop and working on the snowmobile, building shocks. You know, it was kind of the same story. I, I was there during the week watching him get ready for the races and then I would be there on the weekends uh, doing more of the same stuff, just hanging out, probably being in the way more than anything. Towards the end of my racing career, for a few years I kind of picked up a little more projects at Articat beyond racing, kind of into the consumer end of it, which helped me transition away from racing, I guess, a little bit. When Tucker started racing, of course, I was still heavy in my racing career. You know, as soon as I was old enough to realize what racing was, I just knew, you know, instantly that that's what I wanted to do, and I think that's why I started kind of fabricating these races in my mind when I was riding around the yard just it was always a race and so from then on I just knew I wanted to race. You know being at the racetrack with my dad watching him race uh, being out there you know watching him go through staging and getting ready for the start and warming up the sleds all that stuff and when it was race time I was always right there watching. The racing we did get to do together you know we were of course, one of the highlights was his first X Games win. The very first race that we had together was the 2000 Winter X Games. And I remember him just coming out of there and just, you know, getting the start, getting the whole shot. And for the rest of the race, I was kind of trying to race, but I kept going, is he still in the lead? Is he still in the lead? <laughs> you know, so I just rooting for him and somehow I was able to keep focusing because it was about as good a race as I'd ever ran too. But. I can't even remember who I was around or who I was past or who passed me or anything and during that race. So that was, uh, yeah, that was pretty high to build a, you know, have the adrenaline of you racing and watching your son leading the biggest race there was. Winning the main event was, was huge and something I didn't expect and was really exciting. But then to have my dad be in that same race uh, and he finished fifth place. It was it was really cool for both of us. I think you know it was I think his one of his best finishes at X Games, and obviously my you know my first win. You know I think the demands that are out there now are so much more and different than what my dad dealt with that it just forced us to to make the sled work better and make the suspension better. And a company like Fox has stepped up and been there every every part of that. You know just figuring out ways to make everything better and work with us to develop products that do it better and faster and better than the competition. Fox has been been behind us 100% since I started racing, just doing whatever to help uh, provide parts and pieces and, and knowledge and testing and then my dad just being able to tune that and work real close with them to engineer new, new products obviously helps me have success and helps me win races regardless of what I end up doing or what happens you know after I'm done racing I know that uh, 
snowcross and racing is going to continue and, and progression is going to be happening just like it always does. That's one really cool thing about racing is it never stands still. It, it never just sits there idly. It's always progressing, pushing the limits. Fox is going to be there, you know, doing the same things they're doing now, making things better.